Okay, Bob Thorne here reporting about Rossonville Elementary School and Home Depot. Turns out that Home Depot uh, does a lot of community service work and they've decided to uh, help out Rossonville Elementary School. Uh, put some new shrubs in the front here by the sign, but also put uh, mulch all the way around the school and out in the playground and uh, rebuilt the picnic tables for the children in the, in the back so they could eat outside, which they haven't been able to do for a couple of years. And uh, donated a washer and dryer and installed it so the staff has some place to uh, wash donated clothes or if a child has a, an accident where clothes need to be uh, washed and dried, they can. So a great program by Home Depot. Okay, Drew, tell me what uh, Home Depot has been doing about these picnic tables. Well, this was the old wood that was on them, and uh, as you can see, they're kind of chewed up and beat up pretty much termite food and uh, this is the new wood that they put on uh, so the kids can come out and have lunch out here now of course they weren't able to you know for years because who wants to sit at that so yeah well I suppose it would be a little dangerous too huh yeah yeah not Great. anymore now they're they're everything's copacetic so. okay <laughs> looks like there's a dozen tables or so here that they yeah. completely rebuilt yeah they did uh, all of them and they started about uh, nine o'clock that day and left around I believe it was around like six o'clock so they were here, gave up their whole day to come in and do all this. And wow, this is great. This is uh, Home Depot over there on Michigan Avenue in, Ips in uh, Canton? Yes. Great. All right, well, let's take a look around and see what else they did. This right. is great news. Okay, uh, Drew, continuing on with Home Depot, uh, this, we're out in the front of the school now. It looks like uh, they did some work out here too? Yeah, they did. Uh, we had a lot of weeds and uh, old mulch, and they came through and took care of all that. And Gave us some new mulch and took care of the plants and everything. Looks, uh, Are these shrubs installed by them as well? Uh, no, I believe they were here before, but uh, okay. they did, I believe, up by the sign. They put some plants out that way, up uh -huh. over there. And uh, as you can see, they put new mulch and made it look nice out here. So. Okay, that looks great. Yep. Okay, and there's still more, so let's continue. Okay, Drew, uh, we're still here at Rossonville School looking at what Home Depot did for uh, the grounds here. and. What's going on here in the playground? Uh, they replaced all the mulch and uh, cleaned it up out here a little bit. And yeah, it looks far better. It looks a little safer too, yeah, maybe. Yes, it does. A little softer landing when somebody falls. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want anybody to fall though. So. Yep. Well, it's a playground. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's just yeah. you don't want them to get up hurt, right? Yeah, so. definitely. All right, this is great. How wonderful of Home Depot. Yep, they did a lot okay. of work. Yeah, I understand that they also uh, provided a new washer and dryer yeah, free of charge. Yep, and that, they installed uh, it. So. Yeah, yeah, they had GE come out and install the washer and dryer. Yes, they Some did. GE technicians, brand new GE washer and dryer. Yep. That's good stuff. It's good to see these things going on in the community. Business involved with the schools, right. uh, helping make a big difference yep. uh, for all of us. All right, well, thanks for your time today, Drew. Yeah, no problem. And uh, Drew is a uh, custodian here in Van Buren Public Schools, in particular at the Rossonville Elementary School uh, at the moment. So thanks again, Drew. And you're welcome.